Oh, that's not the only event we're looking forward to. Tomorrow is the 40th annual Lexington Barbecue Festival. We've had a preview of the delicious food all morning long. Yeah, WFLY News 2's Giselle Thomas and Christian Morgan are getting a sweet treat this morning. The banana split. Yum. You guys have 20 minutes to finish. Clock is Ready, ticking. set, go. <laughs> are you putting a timer on us? Now, Lauren, you were here with me last year, and you know that that's not fair, right? You know that's just not fair. We can't do that. Uh, Cecil, so glad to have you back here, though. And as we preview all the fun ahead of the barbecue festival and talk about why the barbecue center is such a staple here and why it's such a staple in the festival, one thing that always comes to mind, right? I've been coming here since I was a kid, and one thing that always comes to mind is the banana split when I think about the barbecue center. So how did it come about? Because, one, I mean, you just look at it. The big thing, it's just massive. Yeah. When we started in 1955, we were kind of the outlet for the local mm -hmm. dairy. So we were selling their ice cream. And then when it got cold in the winter, they weren't selling nearly as much ice cream. They started putting shoulders out on the back of, out behind the building. And six years later, they built this building in 1961 or so and um, put indoor pits and brought the ice cream with it. All right. And so every time I come here, right, it's a challenge. I, I just can't, I can't finish one. But we bring about four or five of us and we try to tackle it. And we usually come pretty close, but I'm sure over the course of your time, several people have just oh, polished it off easy. Many, many people, <laughs> many people have finished it. Um, it. It's surprising. It weighs about three and a half to four pounds. Golly, so, it um, sure does. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we had we had solo people finish it in all ages from the, you know teenagers up and yeah. maybe into their 70s and 80s. Now I remember what I think you used to you were telling me about a guy one time who used to come from Thomasville or somewhere like that about once a month and he would sit down and fit. How long did it take him to finish it? Because I think every time he would finish it, right? Probably probably inside of an hour. Inside yeah, of an yeah, hour. yeah. I mean, you only have a certain amount of time with ice cream anyway, or it's all over the table. I was gonna say by <laughs> an hour you can slurp it down. Sure. Giselle, so this is the first so this is the first time that Giselle has ever seen this. Um, so Giselle, when you just look at it, like, is this? Is this taunting you? Is it daunting to you? Do you think you can finish it? <laughs> well, I love food. I love ice cream. This makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. But I wanted to ask just because of the size of it, it looks like it's like the size of a softball. Uh, is How big is this? And also how much does it weigh? I'm like in awe right now. Right, It, it does weigh It does weigh between uh, probably three and a half to four pounds. It's, it's between a baseball and a softball. Wow. And they're about softball size ice cream scoops. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, obviously, Cecil, the, the traditional, right, is chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Mm -hmm. But do you have people that change it up? Absolutely. We have 11 total flavors, so you can put anything you want on there. Mm. I think I would probably opt for cookies and cream, peanut butter, strawberry, maybe? We can Giselle? do that. We you can, can do, do that? Chocolate, chocolate, peanut butter, <laughs> uh, strawberry, cookies and cream, sure. Okay. Giselle, saw, what would be your pick? I saw the moose tracks, too. So I have moose tracks, cookies and cream. I might copy you with that strawberry. Okay. I wanted to ask, too, just because there's, seeing you make this, you made it so quickly. Um, do you kind of have an estimate of maybe how many you've made this year? Um, back during the summer, we would do anywhere from 800 to 1,000 a month. A month. So, and it, certainly with cooler weather, it slows down a little bit. Oh, well, we should go ahead and try it. Then. All right, Giselle, there's only one thing left to do. Follow in with I'm going to tackle thousand. the vanilla side. No. You can tackle the chocolate side. And Cecil said it's too early for ice cream. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a little bit. Yeah, you should. And, oh, my goodness. The wet walnuts are my favorite. Mm. That's what sets it off. Mm. That's one bite piece. Giselle, we have a long way to go. It's like an explosion of goodness. <laughs> it's wow. my favorite thing. It's never too early for ice cream, Cecil. <laughs> it's hard for me to ever say that I'm speechless, but I'm actually speechless. This is absolutely delicious, and well, I see why so many people get it. Yes, I mean, we, like I say, it's very popular. Wow. And so if you're at the barbecue festival this weekend, strolling the streets, come take a load off, <laughs> get the banana split at the barbecue center. Back to you guys. Lauren, we got work to do.